So there are three differentiation methods, the chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. We've met the chain rule and the product rule already. So finally, we're going to look at the quotient rule in this video. The quotient rule is used in order to differentiate a quotient of functions. Now, what I mean by that is y is equal to f over g. Okay? A quotient of functions means one function divided by another. And so, this will enable us to differentiate things like y is equal to, let's say, uh, 2x minus 3 over 4x plus 1. Okay? So, this is a quotient of two functions, 2x minus 3 and 4x plus 1, where the f of x is 2x minus 3 and the g of x is the 4x plus 1. It will also enable us to differentiate things like y is equal to e to the x over sine x, okay? Or y is equal to uh, tan x over x cubed minus 5, or things like that. Okay, where we have a distinct one function divided by another. So they're quite easy to spot as to when you would use them. So let's figure out how we can use the quotient rule. Okay, what does it say? Well, the quotient rule says that if y is equal to f over g, then dy by dx is the bottom times the derivative of the top, so g of x times f prime, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom, so f, uh, sorry, f of x times g prime of x, divided by the bottom squared. Now, this formula looks absolutely ghastly. But as you practice with it, it does become second nature. So if we needed to differentiate this, okay, then start with the bottom, start with the denominator. 4x plus 1 times the derivative of the top, so 4x plus 1 times by 2, take away the top, so 2x minus 3 times the der derivative of the bottom, so 4, all over the bottom squared. So if we tidy this up, we have 4x times 2, so that's 8x. Take away another 8x, so that's 0. Then we have 1 times 2 take away minus 3 times 4, so that's plus 3 times 4, so that's 12, so 2 plus 12 is 14. So we have 14 over 4x plus 1 squared. Okay, And that is the derivative of 2x minus 3 over 4x plus 1. So that's how the quotient rule works, and we'll be seeing more examples of that in the coming videos.